Welcome to Real Estate in Real Time. I'm Woody Zimmerman here with Mark Skabowski of Remax Lakes. Welcome to the show. Here we are. Good morning. morning. And uh, hey, today uh, we are going to talk about affordability. Affordability. And, you know, in 23, that was a big deal. I mean, that's where we started the year. If we went back and looked at our YouTube, you know, yeah. <laughs> review, we were talking about what's the theme for 2023 is affordability and inventory. Yeah. And that's going to continue in 24. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, if you listen to any of the national media, read any news articles related to real estate, which obviously it's my business, so mm -hmm. I pay attention to that stuff. Very interested in it, yeah. obviously. Um, but we all should be. You know, if you're thinking about making a move or if you're thinking about selling, um, you know, my generation, I am the last year of the baby boom. I was born in the last year of the baby boom. Uh, and we're all getting to that retirement stage now you know mm -hmm. where we're downsizing selling whatever but you don't see a mad rush to that i mean we did see some downsizing go through covid things like that people right. retire you know the quiet quitting where people were i'm not working anymore i'm going to go do this because i have the ability to do that um and and in researching for today's show it's interesting but nar hasn't really promoted this so the national association of realtors but you know, the average years that people stay in their home is now 10. It, up from it's seven. It's up from seven. I yeah. mean, and I know I've been quoting seven forever. Well, everybody should, has, yeah. This should do my homework more, but this stat that we pulled up back to 2012 has been 10 years, nine years. So people are staying in their homes longer. And that makes sense. Mm -hmm. When you look at my generation, if we're not retired yet and our homes are paid for with interest rates where they are. Yeah, why would you move? Why would you sell? Yeah. Unless you can sell and pay cash for whatever you're going to do. Right. So why are we talking about the fact that people are staying in their homes longer? Because that impacts affordability. Because you're not seeing the turnover of homes where at seven years... Yeah, you know, you you'd be you'd have more properties on the market available for sale. Right, so you have lower inventory. Lower inventory. So what impacts affordability? Inventory. Yeah. You know, obviously demand does. Um, mortgage rates do. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, mortgage rates have started to pull back a little bit. Yeah. You know, and I'll make the prediction. I think we're going to settle, no matter what the Fed's doing. You know, unless it's extreme. We're going to be between six and seven percent. That's going to be the new norm, which is the old norm. Yeah. But we had a period of new norm. Yeah. In between. Right. We did. Where we had a lot of years of basically money was cheap. Yeah, it right? was. Money yeah. was really cheap. I mean, if you could have done a fifteen-year mortgage or a ten-year mortgage, you were at two percent. I mean, <laughs> people were talking about borrowing at two percent mm -hmm. on a ten-year note, which you know. They might have been stretched at that time to do it, but the reality is, you know, that's how interest and principal work. If you right. pay a lower rate, you're applying more to principal to your mortgage balance. Yeah. So those people actually were pretty smart to do mm -hmm. 10 years, and they stressed and strained, you know, maybe to meet that 10-year payment. But they're sitting pretty right now because they don't, they're not paying six and a half, seven percent interest, right. and they own their home outright. Yeah. So. You know, so the new norm or the more normal, I think, is going to be between six and seven. Um, you know, any of the national stuff, that's what they're talking about. Same thing, the economists, that's the expected rate. And we've talked at, at length, people are probably sick about hearing about it. When we bought, you know, we were at 7%. Don't freak out. It's okay. I get it. It's new. When all you've heard your entire adult life was 3% interest rate. Mm -hmm. So when you hear seven, when you hear eight, eh. Yeah. Well, and six to 7%, that's not bad, but it, I mean, yes, I mean, I, I yeah, I, I did a refi at, yeah. at three and a quarter. Right. And I probably should have waited because I could have gotten down to like two, you right. know, two and a half right. or something right. like that. But, right. uh, um, but really, when you get down to, I mean, the first time I bought a house, it was like eight and a quarter. Yeah. You know, right. I remember my parents, it was, uh, th this was like in the uh, mid 80s or early 80s or something. And it was like, it was like 10, 12% or something. It was really high. Oh, yeah, I've seen, you know, 15, 16% of oh. mortgages, oh. you know. Now, granted, the biggest difference, and I know the young folks that are listening today say, yeah, but that was then, this is now. Mm -hmm. The biggest difference is houses were priced a lot less as well. Yeah. Right? right. I mean, you were talking a 15% mortgage on a $30,000 
note. Yes. Yeah. Not a 15% mortgage on a $450,000 note. Right. Now, wages have changed too. Yes. Right? Wages have changed dramatically. I mean, you know, I got paid a dollar an hour for yeah. mowing <laughs> lawns. I'm not getting paid a dollar an hour now, right. you know, for mowing lawns. I mean, it's just a different, it, everything has changed. Everything has increased. Right. All of that stuff drives it. But what goes into affordability is not only that inventory, mortgage prices, mortgage prices, um, or mortgage rates, I'm sorry, home prices, and wages. Those mm -hmm. all impact. And then add inventory into that. Yeah. And so a shortage of inventory, strong demand, prices are going to do nothing but go up. Yeah. You know, they're going to continue to go up. And after the break, we can talk a little more about each of those categories, rates, uh, home prices, and, and wages, and then inventory. All right. Very good. You're listening to Real Estate in Real Time. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're listening to Real Estate in Real Time. I'm Woody Zimmerman here with Mark Skabowski of Remax Lakes, and we're, we're talking about affordability, and you touched on three key uh, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> portions of uh, affordability, mortgage rates, home prices, and wages. Right. So mortgage rates. None of us can control any of that, right? We right. cannot no. control what the mortgage interest rates are going to be. Yeah. What we can control is how our credit is which impacts the rate that we will receive. Yeah, that's if true. If you have good credit, if you pay on time, you know, all of those things, you've saved for a down payment, all of those pieces, you can do, put 20% down, you can minimize what your cost is gonna be for purchasing, right? Yeah. For, for buying a home. Right. Doesn't mean that you have to have 20% down, doesn't mean that you have to have excellent credit in order to buy, but it definitely helps yeah. because your interest rate will be lower. So mortgage rates can't control. Prediction is they're going to be between 6 and 7% mm -hmm. this year. So there's box one. Home prices. They are not going to go down. Can we re you know, record that? We'll replay this in January of 2025. I do not anticipate home prices are going to go down. All of the indicators are that home prices will continue to appreciate at a more normal level. But Mark, everybody's waiting for the crash. They're all waiting for the crash and they're, prob they're probably not gonna buy a house if you're gonna wait for the crash. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of people sitting back, they're going, well, I'm just gonna wait, home prices are too high, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Guess what, home prices continue to go up. You know, I'd love to buy a Corvette. Mm -hmm. That is like my dream car. Of course, yeah. I probably won't be able to get out of it by the time I can afford to buy one, right? Because yeah, right. they're so low to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> but if I look at Corvette prices, are they going down? Yeah. Are they going down, right? Back when I was a kid, you know, when I was, they were $13,000. I don't know yeah. what they were. Yeah, they were right. cheap. Yeah. I couldn't afford one, didn't look at it. But, right. but today, what's a brand new Chevy Corvette cost? Yeah. More than what I... <laughs> More than what I'm willing to yeah, pay. Right, yes. Do I anticipate that going down? It's the same thing with a house, mm -hmm. right? Not that everybody and their brother wants a Chevy Corvette. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a, a Michigan guy <laughs> yeah. from way back. I grew up in the motors. That's in our area. That was the dream car was a Chevy Corvette. Yeah. Reg insert your dream car. Right. The price is not going down. Correct. They're going to do nothing but increase. Home prices are going to increase. The only benefit for home buyers today is that they are increasing at a more normal level. Mm -hmm. They're not doing the 15, 20% year over year appreciation that we experience during the unicorn years. Now we're yeah. going to beat that you know, yeah. to death yeah. using unicorn years. But during those years, it was crazy. Right. Market was crazy. We don't anticipate that continuing. In the market stats, the show we did last week talked about home prices, mm -hmm. uh, average prices, all those things. They are they are beginning to a more normal, which will be three to six, four to seven, something like that percent increase year over year. And that's where they were pretty much before the unicorn that, years. That was so. before that, excluding yeah. the crash, right? Because everybody hangs their hat on what happened in 07, 08, and 09 yeah, but with the housing market. We're in a different spot. At different time. Yeah, for many different reasons. Time. That yeah. was a once in a lifetime, hopefully. Event. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> you know, just like the unicorn years, the COVID years were a once in a lifetime event. You right. know, when we look back when this is all over, I'll get philosophical. Look back to the early 1900s, the flu pandemic. Yes. The number of people that died, you know, during that. When we didn't have all the people traveling like we did with COVID and things like that, it definitely impacted, it changed. 
So right. the early 1900s compared to the early, you know, 2000s or into where we were in 2000, interesting to review that. So right. historians take No, take it's, you're right. Absolutely right. I thought so about that too. Home prices will continue to increase. It's still a good time to buy. Wages have begun to increase. Mm -hmm. Now, during the COVID years, when people were, you know, struggling to keep, you, you still can't hire enough people. Right. So how do you hire? Wages are beginning to increase. Now, I know there are folks out there, well, mine didn't go up. On average, wages are beginning to increase. And they'll they'll continue to increase through time. I mean, it just it just happens. Yeah, that's the natural occurrence of things. Car prices go up, home prices go up, and wages go up. Now, do wages move up at the same level as what home prices do? If people are going to buy, it's going to have to. That's part of what's impacting mm -hmm. why we're not selling as much is because home prices moved at such a steep curve. They went so high, yeah. people couldn't afford them. Leading to what we started today talking about, people staying in their homes longer. Yeah. <clears throat> Why am I going to sell if I've already got my cost fixed? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a lot of old people like me, but if I can stay in the home that I'm in, rather than pay the higher price and a higher interest rate, and my wages didn't go up that much, I'm going to stay where I'm at, which ultimately impacts inventory, mm -hmm. which continues to drive those home prices up because we're not seeing inventory. Mm -hmm. So what's the solution to it all? You still need to evaluate what's your why. Yeah. Why are you making the moves? Why, you know, housing is a critical piece for all of us. Mm -hmm. It is critical. We got to have a, a place to yeah, stay. Yeah, you have to. Right? No matter what, we need a place to live. Um, and only you can make that decision. Are you, are you in something that's going to work for you long term? You need some short term? What's going on with your life? So yeah. evaluate your why. Yeah, it goes back to your why. Yeah. No, yeah. it's a... Uh, Interesting stuff, interesting stats and and uh, and information, you know. And and I always thought the seven year thing was like uh, um, that average. I always thought yeah. it was too because like in the neighborhood I grew up, right. it's like families stay there for like twenty, thirty years. But it's like it's it's until you get to that big family home, right? right. Or you know something thereof. Uh, but you're right; it goes back to your why. Yeah. Well, and you know myself, I you as well. Yeah, we've right. changed the curve. I mean, I've been in my current house. It's tough to say this will be twenty four years. Yeah. You know, as long as I've been in one place in my life. You know, in the military, moved around. I mean, I'm, I, yeah. it just it's the longest place I've ever been in my life. Yeah, and I've been uh, in mine for over ten. Like our first house, I thought it was going to be like a, a five to seven years. Yeah. It was seventeen years, right. and then this house. Uh, has been over 10 so yeah so we're we're adjusting the curve yeah, you and i we are together yeah. and rod you as well you've been yes. in your place for a long time <laughs> 23, years. 23 years 23 years he's been there so yes the three of us have skewed that it probably oh. was seven but because of the yeah three because of us, of us yeah we moved it because of real estate in real time yeah, because <laughs> of real estate in real time we had a significant impact on that statistic all right continue this conversation <laughs> with mark mark your contact info sure website skabowski team.com phone numbers five seven Seven four five two seven zero six six zero. Can email me Mark at skabowskiteam dot com. Check us out on YouTube. Yeah, make sure you do. You've been listening to Real Estate in Real Time. Have yourself a wonderful weekend.